With Cody Rhodes winning the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble, there are some facts about the American Nightmare that even some of his most hardcore fans may not know or remember. I'm Jeremy, and here are 10 shocking facts about Cody Rhodes. In an interview with Alex McCarthy in 2019, Cody revealed that he was supposed to win the Money in the Bank match in 2013 and 2014. Unfortunately, those plans were changed on the day of the events, and one can only wonder, could have been if Cody would have won the Money in the Bank briefcase, even become world champion nearly a decade ago. After Cody Rhodes left WWE in 2016, he began wrestling on the independent circuit, and at that time, he was wrestling only under his first name, Cody. WWE claimed that they own the intellectual property rights to the pro wrestler character, Cody Rhodes. It wasn't until 2020 that Cody got his surname back when WWE released the trademark. Cody Rhodes' time as Stardust in WWE was not met with the most incredible response. It was also one of the reasons that contributed to his exit from the company. However, in a tweet in 2020, Cody blamed himself for the failure of the Stardust character as a gimmick. Cody stated that he failed to capitalize on the momentum that he had from 2010 to 2012 as dashing Cody Rhodes and that he had become a subpar performer by the time he was Stardust. Given how Cody Rhodes destroyed a replica of Triple H's throne at AEW Double or Nothing in 2019, many fans speculated whether the American Nightmare had a real-life beef with the King of Kings. However, in a 2021 interview with Inside the Rubs, Cody revealed that he has the utmost respect for Triple H and even looks up to him as a role model. After winning the 2024 Royal Rumble match like he did last year, Cody Rhodes has now joined a small but elite class of WWE superstars to win the match in back-to-back -back years. The American Nightmare now has joined three Hall of Famers, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels in this exclusive club. Like most wrestlers these days, Cody Rhodes enjoys enjoys a strong presence on social media. Apart from that, uh, Rhodes has his own YouTube channel, The Nightmare Family. There, he and his wife Brandy share behind the scenes footage, vlogs, and other content related to his wrestling career. The channel has amassed a significant following and provides fans an inside look into his life. WWE proved last year that they currently want to project Cody Rhodes as the top babyface in the company. For the year of 2023, Cody had the most wins to his name as a WWE superstar. For Cage match. The American Nightmare wrestled in 113 matches, winning in 108 of them, losing only five. And that is truly unbelievable. During his early training days, Cody started taking classes at the Howard Fine Acting Studio in Los Angeles. His lessons seemed to pay off as that has contributed to his passionate promo deliveries and Rhodes has also acted in various TV shows, most notably Arrow, alongside the show's lead actor, Stephen Amell. In 2018, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks changed the pro wrestling landscape of the current era when they promoted the all-in pay-per-view. The event was a tremendous success, both critically and commercially, selling 10,000 tickets despite not having the backing of any significant U.S. promotion. The success of all-in led to the formation of AEW a year later in 2019, with Cody being one of the founding fathers and an executive vice president in AEW. When WWE NXT first debuted, it had a seasonal game show format instead of its usual weekly wrestling show that we all know today. Mentors from WWE's main roster supervise rookie wrestlers. May come as a surprise to some fans to hear that the late Bray Wyatt was mentored by a young Cody. Yes, back then, Wyndham Rotunda was known as Husky Harris and Cody Rhodes was his mentor. 